Welcome back to my daily report market analysis videos with me, Richard Power Market Analyst at Handtech on Monday, the 27th of April. Going to look at uh, Euro dollar now, which has ticked higher actually. We spent the last few days of last week, certainly Thursday and Friday, um, flirting with this downside move um, below 107.70. It consistently actually made that move and uh, hit a low of 107.25 before rebounding sharply into the close on Friday. So you didn't ever see a closing breach of that 107.70 level. And now we've seen a positive count on Friday and a decisive and positive move higher today. Um, so this is sort of ticking these momentum indicators higher again. And what we have is the market actually back above 23.6% Fib again. So really interesting move that we've got. Is this a move to be backing on a near-term basis? Well, it certainly looks as though that there's a developing move going here. Um, previously, when 108.10 was breached, it became a basis of resistance, certainly on, on Friday. But then that sort of turned around now. Um, having broken through that, it's now become the basis of support uh, for a little pullback this morning. Um, and then also above 108.40, another sort of old basis of support. 1840, which is quite often used as support, um, which was uh, resistance on Thursday before breaking out. And again, that now becomes a basis of support again. So it's a really interesting um, period of trading, actually, for euro dollar, ticking higher. And is this a turning of the corner phase? Well, I sort of look at euro dollar thinking, well, it's still negatively configured and still... Um, sort of correctively configured in, in that you'd be looking to probably sell into strength. And I think a failure underneath 108.90, this old pivot line, certainly a pivot uh, since late March anyway, failure underneath that I think really does once more sort of heap pressure to the downside. And it'll be very interesting to see if the market can break and close above 108.90. Because if it does, then it sort of reopens the upside again and you start to think about 109.90. But a failure at one underneath 108.90 would be suggesting that the um, the bear market rallies, uh, or we're in a bear market rally phase still, um, and uh, little rallies are seen as a chance to sell. So this hourly chart shows the importance of 108.90. There is better momentum, though, uh, on this hourly chart here, the RSI on the hourly up towards the high 60s. So um, it looks like a decent move at the moment, and um, this uh, 108.10 to 108.40 area becomes a basis of support. So it be interesting to see how far this one can go. But uh, with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to go to our analysis videos and go to our website where you can sign up for our webinar.